Sometime in the 10th century, ancient Chinese physicians made a discovery. A patient who had suffered from smallpox would not get the disease again. Somehow, there was protection. So what did they do? They took an extract of the postules from a smallpox victim, and they blew it up the nose of healthy people to protect them against the disease, and it worked. The Turks pushed this one step further. They made an incision in the arm of people and put the pus into there. And this was called ingrafting. Lady Mary Montagu, who was the wife of the British ambassador to Turkey in the early 1700s, heard about this procedure. And she had suffered from smallpox. Her face was pockmarked because of the disease, although obviously she survived. But she was convinced that this method of ingrafting worked. And she even had her son undergo this procedure. And when she went back to England, she told this whole adventure to the Princess of Wales. And she was on board with organizing an experiment at Newgate Prison, where six prisoners were told that they if they underwent this experiment, they would be allowed to go free. Well, they had been sentenced to be hanged, so of course they were quite willing to do this. So they were engrafted, and doctors looked at them, and they didn't suffer any problem, and when they were exposed to uh, smallpox, they didn't get the disease. And this, interestingly enough, was all before Edward Jenner had realized that if you took an extract of cowpox, from milkmaids who had suffered from this uh, less virulent disease and injected that, uh, there would be far fewer side effects than with the original ingrafting. This, uh, in retrospect, came to be called variolation when you injected it into the arm, when you injected the smallpox into the arm, because it was realized that smallpox was a viral disease and uh, the virus had been given the name variola. So retrospectively, this was called variolation. Well, this is making an appearance again today in scientific publications. New England Journal of Medicine has an article about this with an interesting idea, a modern idea. And the idea is that if we are exposed to a small amount of the COVID-19 virus, the one that causes the disease, we may just have some protection. And they are talking about masks. And of course, they say that the mask is not totally protective, but maybe the small amount of virus that gets through there may be enough to afford some protection. It's an interesting idea based upon the old concept of, of uh, variolation. So I don't know how reliable it is. I think it's kind of a tenuous argument. But you know what? If it encourages some people to wear the mask because they think that it is actually going to be an example of variolation and be protective, so be it. For whatever reason you want to choose, wear that mask.